but yeah, a growth strategy. Now, Gregory, I, I explained to the two ladies before you arrived that we'd had that conversation and and, and mm. thought that 10 minute videos, because you didn't actually say it about our videos. You just said, I haven't got time to watch videos, 10 minute video on LinkedIn. I'm doing things. Mm. And on the basis of that, we're going to do an experiment. So the experiment will be that um, I'll have the long form of this interview. So the uncut, unedited, not, not unedited because I'll put a top and tailor on it, but the long form version I'll upload to YouTube. I'll still do the segments but as we draw our conversation to a close today i want the two ladies to look down the barrel of the camera and make a statement to either other women to the men that are doing it however whatever whatever you want to say but a 90 second two minute is much more likely to be watched because I think, especially on this top person ambassador scheme, you get the alleged viewing figures, but people aren't really viewing them. Um, do you know about the top person ambassador, Rashmi? Yeah. Yeah. So you get you get clicks and views, but they're not real. Um, mm -hmm. And we've been fighting, struggling to get above seven hundred um, members of our page for months hasn't moved we did a little bit at the beginning but nothing nothing major since then so um what else should we cover <laughs> should we cover um in the in the discussion other points yamil what would you what else is there anything else you'd like to bring out because obviously we'll have more than one conversation like this, so you haven't got to remember everything. No, I haven't gotten to everything. No. Um, no not in nearly. No. We have many more. Yeah. So you want us to do 90 seconds? Don't worry about the timing. Don't worry about the timing, just it's a statement from yourself looking into the into the lens of the camera so that the person, so from a viewer's point of view, you're looking at them. Because that's the difference, I think, is it's the connection with other survivors that I think is going to help break through. I think it's going to be another woman looking into your eyes that's going to go, oh yeah, me too. And that's what, I, what I'm trying to get. So, um, like I'm PFA style, public service announcement style. Yeah. Like so, is, you know, yeah. so I'm happy to go first. A statement to men or to women? So, uh, to, to whoever you want to communicate with. Because ultimately, there are the, the, the men need to change, but we know that that change is societal, and we know that the uh, sexualization is happening in children younger and younger and younger, and therefore we know that it's going to get worse before it gets better on our current trajectory. Um, so I can go first if you like um and do a do a uh, having yeah. a go and then you can uh, so i'll go first gregory next and so we'll do one we'll do a, a a piece to camera each time all the contributors so let me just go to uh speaker view <clears throat> uh or actually i'll just re-record the intro from earlier and i today want to speak to men that are out there on linkedin and other social platforms that are sending abusive messages and sexualized messages to female connections or DMs. Stop doing it now. Every woman that watches this, tag in at social me too if you ever, ever receive anything that makes you feel uncomfortable because it is a simple question of that person realizing that you are not alone. 
and you are not alone. Okay.